Hello and welcome to We Are Gamers. Um, tonight I thought we haven't broadcast in a long time, and um, I thought what I'll do is just uh, play a bit of this Bladestorm Nightmare demo. Um, this is a free demo that's available to download on PS4, um, and I believe there's also one for PS3 as well, um, and Xbox One. Um, and you can give it a try yourself. I've had a quick go and just to see what content was available and it is very limited but it's a good taster of what to kind of expect um, there is a l I mean I have played the actual game of this the, uh, the nightmare um, I don't have the game right now but um, when I did give it a shot um, a few weeks ago there is a lot of content on, uh, available and there's uh, once you kind of get deep into the game there's just so much more um, that you can do things like customization and um, upgrading and uh, you know new equipment and things like that there's, there's just loads um, so let's just quickly go through what we've got here um, so we've got the story mode which is divided into two parts there's the uh, the standard hundred years war part which is exactly the same as the hundred years war game from before but it's all being upscaled for the current gen systems uh, there's new controls and I think it's just gonna go back into that demo um, it is brand new controls there's uh, new uh, systems in place um, you can also control the you know, things like the camera and um, you can uh, switch your unit types and you can link units, you can do a few other special moves. Uh, so that's one of the things. There's new weapons, I believe, um, compared to what there was before. And um, there's like uh, the, there's a day-night system, actually, which is progressive um, through, the, through the game. Um, you don't notice it so much. And I mean, there is still the nightfall thing which I know it annoyed some people because you you know you draw your battle to a close at the end of nightfall and that's it um, but yeah that's you know that's part of the game and that's kind of what's still there um, so what we've got here in the um, options menu so we've got the share data which that will uh, give us the option to upload our stuff onto PSN or I believe you could the Xbox version will have the same. There's not a 360 version, but there is Xbox One version. I think you can upload your characters from the demo onto the full game. Um, and it's usually just a simple process of uploading your data in that set of when you get to the full game, just download. Um, options, simple options. It's uh, you know things like messing around with the cameras, camera speed, etc., etc. Um, so yeah, nothing massive in there. That's the basic options. There's the gallery mode, which is not available in the demo, as it will say here. And um, the edit mode, uh, which allows you to create your own mercenaries which we will still do in the full game but you only really get the option to do it once in the edit mode you can go and create as many as uh, there is permitted and you can go and tweak your edit, um, your officers as well that the ones that you make in the story mode you can tweak them to however you want in the edit mode uh, the free mode which will let you take on whatever battles kind of upgrade yourself upgrade your units etc and here we go with the story mode the only thing that's available in the demo is the nightmare mode and so not the nightmare mode the hundred years war mode the nightmare mode is locked up until you play the full game so you're only going to be able to play the hundred years war in here um, and i have tried the nightmare mode and i have to say it is pretty cool it the the, the fantasy elements work really well in this game and i, I it's one of those th things I want to, when I get the full game, I want to do a lot more of the Nightmare Mode stuff. Especially as it's all fresh, it's you know it's not been played before. Um, so yeah, we're going to go into the Hundred Years War. Uh, the Hundred Years War is an actual historical event that took place between uh, Britain and France. And 
uh, took place between 1337 and 1453 I've just got it up here yep so it wasn't actually a hundred years um, you know it was it's off it's a little bit more than a hundred years but you know they call it it was called the hundred years war it obviously felt like it went on forever <laughs> uh, we don't we're not gonna play this for a hundred years Unless you want to. Unless you can survive that long as well. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Whatsoever the coin be greatest, that is the life of a mercenary. <sighs> There's no right or wrong anymore. Indeed, the sun doth continue to rise and afterwards to set, and yet it is as if time itself doth stand still. Sparked into existence by the conflict over the true heir to the French throne, a bitter war between England and France ravaged the French countryside. As these two mighty rivals contested power, it soon became evident that there was to be no simple resolution to this conflict. And with no discernible end to the fighting, the war drained the spirits of the troops on both sides. The result? Each side sought support for their cause, they sought out mercenaries. And now, another adventurous soul takes up arms and resolves to enter the merciless chaos of battle. Okay, so here we go. First thing I will end up doing is actually creating a mercenary, and I'll show you some of the customization options. I have not seen your face hitherto. You are one of those who would seek to become a mercenary. It is no simple task. Only the best prosper. Only the best survive. How long are you intending to stand there? Come hither, would you? Okie dokie. Okay, here we go. Please either select a main character or create one to participate in a hundred years war scenario. So now, there we go. That's the character I first played with and created. Um, I can edit him with uh, the triangle button. Or I can make myself a nice new character, which I will do now. Um, just to kind of show off some of the customization options, because uh, you know it's one of the key features in here. One of the one of the really cool things is the new customization on here, and you will see. Um, I'm going to use a name that. I like using uh, and I'm gonna make a female I've got a male character I want to make a female mercenary um, so now let me choose my voice the strong shall be victorious we must move swiftly and as now <laughs> okay, one of the things with the um, with the voices is still some of the, you know a lot of the voiceover which was done originally, I believe, and it's a little bit on the cheesy side. But it, if you remember old Koei games, it's, it's it'll be a forgiven. We shall not be defeated. Spread out and fight. <laughs> she sounds like she could be from anywhere in Europe. Um. So let's change the pitch. We can have. Steal yourselves. Spread out now. <laughs> now is the time for courage. Let them close. Everyone, follow me. Now. 
Okay, I'm going to give her a you know, slightly lower pitch to her voice. Okay, let's come out of here and let's select a weapon. We got a choice of various different weapons. There's quite a bit. Um, Mongol shortbow monk. So I can have halberds. Um, I might actually pick that this class. To be honest. Um, so I might go for a pole sword. Some of these uh, these moves can actually be. I believe changed and you, depending on which weapons you use there will be different options available so while it looks like say the uh, the monk is the same as the pole sword I believe there is you know you can change these later on once you've got the upgrades you can't in the demo because you never go back to uh, to upgrade yourself and that's yeah that's just one of the one of those disappointing things um, so I can look in the you know the various categories here. So yeah, I'm going to go for a pole sword. There's a quick explanation of the skills. Um, these are going to be my special skills that I use during battle. And let's go and edit myself. So we've got uh, so four eight, nine face types. Um, it's really a case of just looking at the faces because the other features you can change things like the hair and stuff so this is just kind of give us a basic facial stru uh, structure I want someone who looks a little bit you know stern and battle hardened she looks like she's ready for battle either her She's on the pretty, you know, slightly pretty side, but could be a warrior. But I'm going to go for her. Okay, we've got a limited number of skin colours, um, including some odd choices. Would have been nicer to have a few more natural skin colours. Uh, so we can go for um, ghost white. <laughs> um, so, so there is, you know, some kind of normal tones here. Um, I'm going to be a woman of colour, and I'm going to have right. Okay, uh, one thing with the hairstyles, there are over a hundred hairstyles to choose from. Loads. Now, it's always good to rotate because sometimes you can't. Sometimes you pick something that looks alright at the front, and then it looks horrible at the back. Actually, that quite suits her. What's that? 93. I remember that one. Ninety-two. I want ninety-two at the moment. Yeah, I don't one pigtails as it seems right now I, there's no um, option to have um, a hairless woman which seems a little bit strange for the uh, for the male model the um, 
completely hairless is right at the bottom. It's a hundred and something, and I haven't come across that option. So one would guess she doesn't have. See, I like I like that style. Just I don't think it suits her. Probably would have suited the other face type. That's a bit crazy. See, dreads are cool, but I don't want to go for dreads. That's not too bad. It's too plain and boring, in my opinion. <laughs> looks a little bit like, um, or at first, it looks a bit like Lisa from uh, Dead or Alive. That's pretty cool. It's you know, it suits the warrior style, I think. But I still think I like 92 best. Yep, going for 92. That one. Okay, so we've got a few choices of hair colour. Um, we have some odd ones. Some natural ones. Okay, I'm choosing, I'm debating between this one. I will be doing some some proper game in a second. Um, yeah, let's go for black features. So we, there's plenty of you know option with regards to um, what you can do on the face. So there's quite a bit of customization here. Um, change the cheeks I'm just gonna keep it quite normal um, there's not an option to reset which is a bit annoying um, eyes I want to give us some no it's change that let's give it a slight slant on our eyes Oh, what have I done to her cheeks? Oops. Can you give her green eyes? Standard. Yeah, her eyes look funny. I do. Eyebrows, various eyebrows types. They look nice and mean. They're a bit thin. Once we get the full game, we will be doing a lot more of the gameplay, or I will at least be doing a lot more of the gameplay stuff.
Um... Do I even game? I game a heck of a lot. <laughs> um... But I want to, you know, I want to kind of stream as much of the content as I can that this demo shows. Um, that includes the customization features, and then I get onto the gameplay. And the game is very limited. Once you defeat that officer, that's the end of the demo. Um, and I don't want to just kind of draw it to a, a very quick finish on the on here. Um, so let's thicken up her lips a little bit. Mouth corner shape. There we go. Right, cosmetics we got, I guess, just different makeup types. And then the various accessories which we can shove on her. She can have a battle scar. Cool. Um, body height. I'm just going to leave her as she is. But you can change. You know, you can change all these. You can change the details of the how. You know how you want them to look. Um as well as the arms and stuff so there's quite a bit that you can customize and I haven't got any equipment so that will be that uh, no and let's hit that and let's go so yeah I'm gonna pick uh, Faith as my main character hmm. and let's go you have a look of courage about you tell me what is your name? There is a shitload of settings. <laughs> I shall remember that. Both English and French alike come here in order to petition assistance. I aggregate their appeals and pass them on to you. So, if there be anything you require, please speak with me. Okie dokie. Right. Well, I have a contract Thanks. for the battle in Normandy. Normandy is known as the gateway to France. Okay. The English shall invade by sea, and the French are mustering troops to stop them. Both England and France seek as many fighters as possible. It should be ideal for a mercenary's first assignment. Okay, so this is the only battle that this demo gives you. It's just this one, and that's it. And I'm probably going to stretch it out a bit longer than I really should. Um... Just to kind of play about a bit. Um, so what we've got here, we've got the basic menu of the tavern. And this is a place you're going to go back to every single time you finish the battle. Um, go into your system settings and change the options and stuff. Uh, check out the gossip from uh, various people within the tavern. Um, as an example. There's no voice option for this, so you just got to read it all. Uh, but they kind of give you some little tips and hints and stuff. Um, once you have money, you can get recruits. I've got absolute fuck all, so I can't buy any of this. Um, but yeah, I can buy um, troops and stuff. Um, I can also I have something. What would you like? buy new equipment. So the various different armors, uh, some pennons, and some of the weapons um, but again I can't buy these in the demo I have to wait till I get the full game to get round to those oh, please come again. Um, basic status um, so I can once I've got some pennons I can equip them to um, my menu here and then when I hit the I think it's the L2 button it'll let me uh, choose one of those um, 
so these are the books I've got absolutely no SP so I can't upgrade myself um, I can't upgrade